We are in the Hague. We are in the port for all oceans, Moscow. From here, you can in fact travel by boat to five oceans. It was the Russian canal building tradition that made it possible to change Moscow from an inland city to a port connected to the world's oceans. One of Russia's most powerful men, Moscow's mayor for nearly 20 years, now wants to revive this tradition. His vision is to blow the cobwebs off the old plan for Siberia's rivers. The mayor has pinned up a huge map in his office. It shows the old Sibaral project. He wants to take about 7% of the water in the Ob River and build a 2,500 kilometer long canal to water thirsty Central Asia. Supporters of the project call it a green bridge between Russia and Central Asia. Opponents claim that to argue with these supporters about economics or ecology is a complete waste of time. Instead, they should simply be given psychiatric treatment. <laughs> the water crisis is growing more acute in several Central Asian countries. Their leading politicians are pressing for the plan to be carried through. Only Moscow, capital of the country from which they have recently won their independence, can supply them with the water they say they will desperately need within a few years. Siberia's water can protect Russia's interests and restore the Kremlin's power in Central Asia. It's likely the canal will give Moscow political and economic leverage that can cement stronger ties than communist ideology was ever able to do. History will once again show that gigantic water projects never lie down forever because they promised so much.